Hello, my name is Das. I'm the winner of the Winter Award for the best new award. I'm the winner of the Woodlands and I'm the winner of the Woodlands. Um, why did I learn all these languages? None of it was uh, intentional. I was just at the right place at the right time. For example, for Mandarin, I was in uh, a play group where they did not offer Tamil as a second language when I was really young. And then my parents like to speak Malay to each other when they do not want me to understand. In my mind, because I was so young, I thought if my parents can speak Malay, I also can speak Malay. So with my very, very limited vocabulary, I had this false confidence that I can speak Malay and I went to every single Malay person around my life and spoke the very basic Malay. My Malay improved a lot more when I was in national service. I had a lot of Malay friends and uh, we always have conversations in Malay. For Tamil, actually it was the first language I've ever learned and my parents refused to speak to me in English. So um, I learned Tamil at home and English was something that I just learned along the way with friends and uh, school. Uh. Oh my goodness, I really, really um, have so many episodes because there are certain episodes where I am a standalone host and uh, in other episodes I hang out with other hosts and we have a chit chat session. We get to just be ourselves and the director gives us the liberty to ad lib and wherever appropriate say what we think uh, it would enhance the conversation with our guest or with our fellow co-hosts. I don't think I have the bandwidth to learn any more languages but if I had to learn a language, it would be sign language. I would like to learn sign language. What I did after Star Awards, I kicked off my shoes, I returned all my outfits, and I wore my Indian traditional costume, and I went to eat hot pot. And I went to this hot pot place that all Singaporeans know. It's very popular. I'm a gold member there. In terms of long term, I would like to travel overseas and maybe see if there are any opportunities elsewhere. But I, there's a lot more work that I feel I need to do in Singapore as well and a lot of more opportunities that our country has to offer. The first thing is you need to be patient. You cannot expect instant gratification. You cannot post a TikTok video and expect it to go viral immediately. Number two, I think uh, asking for opportunities is a very important thing. I think a lot of people are very, are very embarrassed and shy to ask for help. A lot of people say they have passion, but actually what they really do have is they would like to succeed but they're very scared to try. Yeah, I think the passion has to always be far more than the fear and the insecurities that you have. <laughs> <laughs>